Song of Day vlog number two. Hi. I guess the first thing I want to do is maybe respond to just a few comments from last week's vlog. One of the main things I wanted to clear up was the plan is to to keep writing a song a day uh, after January 1st. You know, it was originally just a month. It was really originally just the month of January. But once I decided to keep going, it's been my intention to keep going and going and going. Hopefully, I'm not going to stop at, at January 1st, and I'm just going to keep on trucking on to 366 songs and beyond. I hope that you all who are watching will keep watching, and I hope that there will be more and more people to discover what I'm doing, and hopefully will enjoy it. And then I want to just uh, go to a few, well, one question and a few comments from people. First of all, thanks for all of the support. Um, that kind of stuff really helps me a lot and keeps me going. Uh, Snorlax owns you, YouTube user, asked me if this is what I did for a living or if I had a day job as well. Um, and I don't have a day job. This is what I do for a living. Um, you know, as you know, or as you've probably seen on the Song of Days, like sometimes companies pay me to write songs for them and make videos, um, which keeps me going. The contests keep me going. Um, and I also have a few other freelance, freelancey things that I do. Um, I do some work with the East Bay Express, which is the local alt weekly here in the East Bay and so on. So no, I don't have a day job. Um, sometimes I wish I did have something, you know, like a cool day job that I could go to, or at least have something where I knew where the money was going to come from. But uh, I don't know if I'd be able to do song a day if I didn't do that. So it's kind of a trade off, you know. Um, and I'm not, I'm not making gangbusters, you know, I'm not like making a ton of money or anything, but uh, I'm making enough to live on, just enough to live on, basically. Uh, Wasser... Brunner says, your statistics are a little off when you consider that if you spent more time, more than a day to write your songs, the percentage of good songs would go way up. Um, and I heard this, this sentiment echoed, and I've heard this argument before, and I want to say categorically that it's not true. It's actually, at least for me, I don't know about for other musicians, but it's absolutely 100% false. The amount of time that I spend on a song in, in my experience, and I've been doing this a long time, has absolutely no bearing on how good the song is. And that gets really to the heart of the song a day ethos. It's like, I can spend a month on a song, and it won't be, it, it may not be as good as uh, a song that I write in an hour. Um, and in fact, that has been the case. Um, and is often the case. You know, the songs that just sort of come really quickly, and there they are. Um, are better than the songs than a song that I could like spend all this time crafting and working on. the 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 real trick is to maybe t find the songs that are good, and that's what I'm trying to do through this process of writing a song a day. Like I'm trying to get at the good songs, and then take only the good songs and flesh those out, and work on those, and revise and and work on them. So. If I spent more time on the good songs, it would make the good songs better. But I could spend all the time in the world on the bad songs, and th it wouldn't make them any better, if that makes any sense. Uh, Cubehead666, who's been around with me for a long time, he says, When you did Game Jew, you mostly only published songs you knew were bangers. Miyamoto, Fantasy Zone, Devil's Crush, etc. I went down the list for Rock Cookie, and I found two, maybe three songs from Song of Day that really stuck out in my memory. So, um, again, this is, uh, I think you have selective memory, Cubehead666, because some of the songs that you mentioned, Fantasy Zone, Devil's Crush, those were Mushroom Singdom songs. And if you recall, the way I was doing Mushroom Singdom was actually kind of similar to Song of Day. In fact, for four or five months, I was writing three songs a day every Monday. And I was actually, Fantasy Zone and Devil's Crush were both written this way. I would write three songs between the hours of 9 and 1 p.m. in the afternoon um, on Monday mornings when the Virtual Console games were posted up on the Wii uh, Virtual Console store. So writing three songs and four hours every Monday morning was how I got to Fantasy Zone and Devil's Crush. And... 
um, if you go to my store, jonathanmanmusic.com, and click on Mushroom Singdom, you'll see, um, in case you've forgotten, all of those Mushroom Singdom, I think it's something like 80 or 90 Mushroom Singdom songs that I wrote in that fashion, um, many of which I think stand up, I think are, are really good. In fact, Fantasy Zone is one of the songs that we play um, with my band um, that we have fleshed out and sort of made into a more uh, a more complete song. Um, so, so yeah. Last week I talked about my weaknesses. This week I think I'm going to talk about my strengths. The first one uh, should be pretty obvious. It's working quickly. I'm very good at um, taking an idea and just making something out of it. Um, it And it comes out of not being a per- perfectionist. I actually think that perfectionism is a plague. It's like a neuro- neurological disorder that afflicts, you know, people where um, they have to, like, make things perfect. And I totally don't believe in that at all. I think you should just make what you make and put it out there and do it. Uh, another one of my strengths is uh, making songs into a narrative. Um, uh, I should have written down some specific examples of this, but maybe you guys can think of some. But take like the 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 little mini musical that I wrote for the East Bay Express, the Saving Newspaper Boobs song. Um, taking like a really specific idea and sort of giving it a little bit of an arc, you know, um, or telling a story through a song or things like that. I think the, that's definitely one of my one of my strengths, and I've definitely been able to. Um, exploit that at various times, writing the music for um, this thing called the X-Play musical, which was on G4, and doing other musical-y stuff for G4. And um, um, and the final strength that I'll talk about is another really obvious one, but one that I think, you know, that I don't think can be taught. I mean, one thing about most of my weaknesses, the guitar playing, the singing, I think those things I can learn, you know. I think, like, just as I do it, I'll I'll continually get better and it's just how it is but um i can write catchy songs i can write really catchy songs and i don't know how i do it i just do it um and i don't know if that's really something that you can teach somebody i think it's just something that you have or you don't you know um i think the fact that i can write such catchy songs definitely comes out of my sort of simplicity you know i'm not a very complicated musician i don't i don't like I was saying last week, my, it's, maybe it's like my strength and my weakness, you know, that I'm not, I I'm, don't ever get particularly complicated with my music, but as a result, it's all relatively catchy. Um, so there you go. My strengths, my weaknesses, all laid out before you, the internet. There's like three or four days left to vote in the Cha Cha video contest. Um, and again, you can vote every day. So I really want to get like a big push going um, for these last few days. So I'm hoping if I ask you, I'm pleading with you, please, please, please go vote for Cha Cha, for my video in Cha Cha. Send it to all your friends. Ask them to vote. Ask them to send it to all their friends. Really, let's get a really big push going here and put me over the top um, so that I'll win $5,000 and be able to keep doing song a day. And also, please vote for ivory and i um right now i think you can just go and rate rate our video five stars i'll put both of these links up in the sidebar um rate our video five stars send out to all your friends we need more views i think we're like in second right now with views and we're not doing so great on the rating i think we have a three stars or something so go rate it five stars i think you can rate that five stars every day just rate it comment on it send it to all your friends um we really need to win these contests because it's it's really going to keep me going uh, if I can win those. And keep requesting songs. It really helps me if you request songs. Um, they don't have to be paid. And if they're free, you know, request something really wacky because th- those are the ones that I really that I really l- like to, you know, do the most or the kind of wacky free um, song requests. And if you have a business, I'll write a song about your business as well. It doesn't have to be wacky. Uh, or it can be wacky. Whatever you want. Okay, now I'm just rambling. So I'm going to say goodbye, so long, and uh, good luck.